something crazy just happened. It's a cautionary tale. You gotta be careful. I can't believe I did that. We're at a train station right now so everybody can see me. I'm just kind of ducking because I don't think it's normal to be filming inside a washroom. The guy tried to sell us like everything. <laughs> Bro, I just want one. <laughs> the reserve is definitely worth the money, I think. We're having a great time. Good morning, we're Nicole and Miko, and we are road tripping around the country of Sri Lanka to show you why this country should be your next travel destination. Today's video is going to be a little bit different because we are leaving our scooter wand behind so that we can take what is considered one of the world's most beautiful train rides. So we have just dropped our bike off with someone who is going to bring it all the way to Candy for us Which means we are officially without Wanda. I feel a little lonely. Yeah, it's super sad The service of bringing the bike from Ella to Candy, which is where we're heading to today yeah. Is also part of the package that you can get with uh, Sri Lanka Bike Rent who we're using as our rental agency for these uh, amazing scooters mm -hmm. So if you're in need of a scooter in Sri Lanka, definitely check them out It makes it super convenient to take it from Ella to Candy or have somebody else take it for you so that you can take this wonderful train ride. Famous Ella railway station. It's very beautiful. It's quite small. Like it is in its own tourist attraction. So even if you aren't taking the train somewhere, you could just come here and get a picture with the sign that says Ella, which is very classic and beautiful. It's actually a really like small and cute railway station considering like how significant it is in the country. Yeah. I think our journey today, by the way, is like six or seven hours. It's fairly long, actually. We also purchased our tickets ahead of time. We came here a couple of days ago, got the tickets, and we reserved them. You can't just rock up and get them. They're actually a lot cheaper if you do it that way. But we were a little nervous that we would miss it. And because we had to get our yeah. bike to Candy, it just wasn't worth it to potentially miss it for us. Also, I want to say there's a few classes for the train rides. Um, first, second, and third. We got the third class because that's all that was available. <laughs> uh, second or third is probably the best classes yeah. to take simply because like all the windows are down, the doors are open, and you can like see outside and experience outside. Yeah. Whereas in first class, it's like all air conditioned and all closed up. Yeah. So it's not really... You really want to be able to like hang yeah. out of the train and really look out of the train and stuff. Yeah. So second or third is definitely where you need to the be. The better experience. Yeah. For us budget travelers, we're going all the way down the tracks to find third class. Apparently, when you're in third class, you don't even get a bench to sit on. <laughs> Everyone else had benches. You get to the third class area, there's no benches out here. <laughs> I love how he even says third class ordinary. It's like just make sure you know that you're nothing special. <laughs> you're just an ordinary person. Ooh. You're in a third class. <laughs> the train is here. is like really heavy right now and I can see it like bowing. Another food bag. <laughs> okay, so we got like the reserve tickets, right? And we didn't really know where we were gonna be sitting and I think we might have got a little unlucky because we're in tickets, we're in seats 65 and 66. And in this little row, there's actually three seats here. This is 64, we're 65 and 66. So I don't think we have the window, but we'll, we'll use it anyway. Okay. Here we go. Yay! Still, we do not know why, but I will say while there is no squeaking from the train that I think what is very cool about this so far is that there's tons of locals who like live right along the train tracks. So, so far what I'm really enjoying doing is just like seeing what they're up to. It's like 9.30 in the morning, they're just going about their morning routines, getting stuff ready. Ooh. There's lots of dogs around the tracks as well, so that is very cool on top of the scenery, which is stunning. 
so far, it's been very loud. The squeaking of the tires on the rail and whatnot is just like... And also, the train is actually like really slow. I think it's because it's so hilly and like there's yeah. so much movement, like there's a lot of curves. The tracks are very wavy, curvy. Yeah, so going really slow. So don't expect like a bullet train when you take yeah. this ride. But it's actually really nice because it gives you a chance to really soak in um, the scenery. It's ever changing. Like we've been switching sides, like look to the left, yeah. look to the right. And it's yeah. just, you never know where like the big view is going to appear. Um, so that keeps you on your toes that way. It's been really nice so far. I'm really loving the way the windows open, the doors are open. And we can just like sit back and the breeze is majestic. Something else I'm really liking about this train ride is that the locals like definitely know that for visitors like this is like one of the most amazing things that you can do here in Sri Lanka. So so many of them are like just so excited that like they see you on the train, they know you're having an awesome time, and they're waving to you, and they just they just look so stoked like for us, <laughs> which I'm loving. clean cart, got little hand things to hold on to. We've been putting our bags on top of these guys. Um, lots and lots of room, as you can see, our bags are at the corner there. And you've also got big fans. These are the doors. We've been hanging out of them. Pretty nice, you got one rail here, one rail here, and then one here. And then the doors just kind of propped open. Yeah. Oh, there's a cool. <laughs> Also, we'll say that we're in third class reserved. I think there's a third class unreserved, so maybe that's a little bit different. I think I did peek through the windows. It looked a little busier, the unreserved, so. A lot busier. The reserved was definitely worth the money, I think. We're having a great time. All right, the washroom is open. It's kind of nice, it's very, it's very small. Uh, here you guys go. Toilet, bomb gun, thingies to cover the seat but are empty. A little hand washing station, garbage, nice size mirror. Window where you can do your business, look outside. We're at, a, we're at a train station right now so everybody can see me. I'm just kind of ducking because I don't think it's normal to be filming inside a washroom. And then, what is this? A little gauge thing. Yeah, pretty, uh, pretty no frills washroom, it's pretty tiny. with food because we haven't seen anybody like get on the train and usually when you're on a train like people hop on sell you food and then they get off again and take it on the train go in the other direction um, but I think food and maybe tea has just arrived what is that uh ah. chai tea whoa what hmm. is this here this is all vegetarian vegetarian two, two. maybe I'll get one I don't, do you want one of those? No, no. Please? No, I think just... This one good, vegetarian. It's okay, it's okay. No, how much is that? Thousand. It's, no, no, sorry, no, 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 no. What no, do you want, I love? don't want that at all. One of and these? One. Yep, and what maybe do you want? Maybe one of these. And then maybe one, I'd like one of those here. Sure, okay, thank you. The guy tried to sell us, like, everything. <laughs> I just want a small thing. He's like this, two of these, two of these, two of these. Bro, I just want one. <laughs> but it's nice though, it's a little warm too.
cautionary tale. You gotta be careful. Like almost like brush up against the side of the cart, and especially the tunnels. The tunnels is like a foot and a half of space between the cart and the wall. So you gotta be careful. Oh my god, I feel bad. Ow! Well, I look like I've been attacked by a cat or something. Look at that! I can't believe I did that. That was my bad. I really, I really didn't see the tree. I mean, obviously, or I would have put my arm out, but I just put my arm out and it's like. And then apparently, it happened to be a thorny tree. Ow! Kind of thing. All right, I feel like a bit of a dummy. Probably should have seen the tree, but I didn't somehow. But I cleaned up my arm. It looks totally fine. Looks like I got attacked by a cat. But honestly, it looks fine. And it really doesn't hurt very much. So all in all, not bad. Sri Lanka bike rent who transported our scooter to us. Yes. He got here a lot faster than we did. <laughs> How long have you been here? Uh, I, I came uh, one o'clock. One o'clock? One o'clock. Oh, like yeah. three hours? Yeah. <laughs> I'm jealous. Super bike. Super bike. Super speed. Good, 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 good. So everyone, welcome to Kandy. This is uh, one of the biggest cities in central Sri Lanka. Although it is nothing like Colombo, you won't see huge skyscrapers here. What you will find is a lot of rainforest, tea plantations, beautiful greenery, and a lot of very important religious sites, including uh, uh, one big one for Buddhists that we'll hopefully visit in the next video. We're super happy to be off the train, although it was beautiful. We are, uh, we are ready for, for our own place again. And uh, look at that, we got our bike back. All right guys, we have been reunited with Wanda. She looks perfectly fine. The Ella to Candy Trade ride is definitely aptly hyped because yes. uh, the views are gorgeous. It was wonderful. We are somehow exhausted though. Yeah. So we are gonna leave you guys here and we will catch you in the next one when we go exploring Candy. Thanks for watching. Got some leftover crackers. The dogs here love these crackers. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty good.